This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more tips and tricks. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to cover a bunch of random stuff in this video. Hopefully we got enough that everybody can learn a little something. Some of this stuff you may know, some stuff you may not know, so we'll see. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here is that your ship panels can be repaired pretty much instantly. However, the stuff, some of the stuff on the ship, for example, that storage chest over there cannot be repaired almost instantly. So if we shoot at it there and then we fly over there real quick, you can see that if we take the hammer to this, it's going to be two minutes and 45 seconds before we can repair it. Did the ship not actually take any damage? Uh, looks like the ship managed to get through that one unscathed. Let's fire at it again and uh, we'll do some ship damage and I'll show you that the ship can be repaired pretty much instantly. Okay, there we go. The ship for sure took some damage that time. And if we run right over here, you can see that uh, right there we go. And the ship is able to be repaired. However, if we fly back up top here, and we take a look at this, this still has a minute and 55 seconds. So this applies to like a lot of your structures. So these pieces here, like the non-ship pieces, these ceilings, uh, the doorways, all of your stuff like this, the, sh the ship chest, all of that stuff, the, the, the like actual building pieces, those cannot be repaired instantly. You have to wait for the cooldowns on those uh, just as it was any other structure. However, the ceiling places that you place in the middle that are connected to the deck like this one here can actually be repaired instantly they do not count as like this stuff here they actually count as part of the deck all right the next tip is one that eluded me for quite some time all ships come with a ladder they have a ladder here in the back if you look at the back you can see that uh, we have the ladder extended and we can retract that ladder and it completely disappears but that's great you're thinking that's fantastic but what do i do when i fall off of my ship and i can't get back up on it because i've retracted my ladder like firespark does all the time and then he gets stuck off a ship well all you have to do is just look at the back of your ship and hit t look at how easy that was and it automatically puts your ladder down for you now you can hit it again it won't go back up but you can climb up your ladder like so and then you can pick your ladder back up and you never have to worry about getting stuck off your ship again because if you do all you have to do is just go to the top of the water look at your ship and hit t and there you go ladder is down and now you can climb up it and safely board your vessel and i gotta give a big shout out to gg fizz for teaching me that one that one is a lifesaver for everybody if you want to check out his twitch stream i will put a link to it in the description Okay, this next one, many of you are going to thank me for. So you got the ship resource box like you see here and you think, well, that can only go on ships. No, as you can see here, it can go on foundations and this thing can hold a ton of resources. Look and how many resources this thing and we can just put more stuff in there now keep in mind that it only holds ship repair style resources like if i try to put the door in there i cannot put the door in there but it holds all of your raw resource materials and as you see it can hold a ton of them it really doesn't have much of a limit uh, you can see the health here but the storage is eight of dash and the weight just has no limit so you can hold as much stuff as you can fit in the thing if you want to know where that is at that is under captaineering so you go to captaineering and you unlock that and then it's under basics of crew you can see there it gives you the skills ship resource box now another really cool thing about this box is if you have one on your ship you can repair your ship and it will automatically pull the resources out of it. You don't actually need the resources on your person. And if you destroy anything on your ship, so say you, you want to break a bed or you want to break a storage container or something like that, the resources go directly in the box. So if you're in a situation where, you know, you're out of resources and your ship's taking on damage and you're out of repairs, you can start breaking down boxes and other random furniture on your ship. It'll automatically go into this container here if it is on your your ship and then you can continue on with repairs quickly and efficiently this one is probably a bug but I'm going to show it to you anyway we're gonna throw those fibers out here if you take a look at this raft you can see the raft has a lot of uh, HP damage and I need 26 wood 13 fibers and 7 hide to repair it if I try to repair it with the hammer you can see it says I don't have enough resources however if I look at it hold down E and click repair ship 
it just starts repairing. So you don't need any resources to repair your raft. I'm pretty sure that's a bug that'll probably get patched. Maybe, I don't know, uh, wild card, you know how they go. That's not a bug, that's a feature, so who knows. But yeah, you can just repair your raft currently without any type of resources to do so. This next one's a mechanic leftover from Ark. It is present in this. So we have the glider suit equipped. You can see it's on my back there. You just put it in your hot bar and it works. Uh, it does slow you down a good bit when you're using it. However, it does give you the capabilities to essentially double jump. So you can see there, we just jumped right over top of that. Um, and we can jump pretty high. Like we, you can you see here, you would think that we wouldn't be able to jump that, but we can actually jump over that as well. So it gives you the ability to double jump even though it slows you down. And of course, if I unequip it, you can see I can't even come close to jumping that right now. So that's a mechanic that's left over from ARC. Many of you that are ARC players probably already know about it, that it followed over, but uh, I just wanted to make people aware of it. This next one I can't really show you here on my private server because it's a little wonky the way that it's set up, but on officials it is a thing and you're just going to have to take my word for it or test it for yourself. When you have a ship at a free port, it takes rapid damage. Uh, not like too crazy, but it just decays faster than normal. You get the decay like you get when you're out at sea, but it's a lot more rapid and it even happens when your ship is anchored. They essentially have this done so you can't just pile around a free port. So if you leave your ship anchored in a free port, there's a good chance that it will be sunk by the next time you get on. So get into a free port and get out quickly as possible. Make sure you run repairs after you do so. Okay, these next two both have to do with ships. So the first one, you can put signs on the side of your ship like you see here. We just put all kinds of random signage on the side. No, it will not work as armor. And they will get blown off instantly as soon as they get hit with a cannonball. However, you can put extra signs on the side of your ship if you want to like tell passerby or something or whatever. I don't know. I just thought it was a neat thing that you could do, a neat little feature. This next one is kind of two that tie in together. You can dye the lantern. So if you see I have a red lantern here, if I drag the green over, it's dyed green. And they actually put off colored light. So I made it nighttime and I have some lanterns over here attached to the ship. And you can do that by uh, making the wooden wall hooks and attaching those to your ship. And then they have a, a single slot inventory and you can just put the lanterns in there or a torch in there, whichever you prefer. But if you put dyed lanterns in there, like you see here, you can give your ship that cool eerie green glow like the uh, ships of the dam have and you know maybe scare some people or just look awesome in the distance so you can see our ship now has that eerie green glow and if you're wondering what dye i used for that it is the water course green coloring so that's the color that this is but if we fly up here and take a little bit of a distance look you can see it gives your ship a really neat green glow and it i mean those lanterns cover a rather large area with light. It looks pretty neat and you could do more. You could do red if you wanted to. You can drop whatever color you want on those to uh, style out your ship however you want. But those also work on your person as well. So if I grab this red lantern here and I put it on my person and we turn both of these off, I can hit seven to activate that. And you can see I now put off an eerie red glow, which is pretty cool. All right, so hopefully everybody learned a little something here. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.